towards your friend, you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so we can be Hello guys, welcome back again to the channel Today we are going to sew the gown If you have not watched the video on how to cut the half length and the down length Please go ahead and watch it what we are doing today is to cut the collar, the sleeve, the yoke, and then join the whole thing together. Complete sewing tutorial of the short gown. That's what we are doing today. So I'm going to start with the collar. We are going to cut the collar first. If you have watched the cutting part of the video, you will notice that I did not add the shoulder allowance. Here, there is no shoulder allowance. When I am cutting it with my fabric, I will add the shoulder allowance. Before I add the shoulder allowance, I will measure the front neckline and also measure the back neckline. That is what we are going to use to cut out the collar. So I am going to do it, do that now. So this is a plain sheet of paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll just mark out a line like this. And then after marking a line like this, the next thing is to get the center of the line. I'll just make a straight line like this. So this will mark the center of the two sides. Here will be, will be the back neckline. And then this side will be the front, the front neckline. I hope it's clear. Okay, let me just take this line upwards. So we have back and front. At the front side, I'm going to insert the neckline for the front side here and insert the neckline for the back side here. This is the perfect way of cutting your bishop collar. Okay? So I'm going to measure the back neck the back neckline. And um, for this type of collar, I'm going to include the zip allowance for the back side. So I'm going to measure from here to here, including the zip allowance. If your collar will not, will not get to the zip at the back side, before you measure, you just fold in the zip allowance like this, and then measure only this one. So but for this tutorial, the collar will get to the zipper allowance. I hope you understand. So I'm going to measure from here to here. So I'll place my tape like this. At the edge, I place it like this and measure. Okay, so what I have here is 4.5, 4.5 inches. I'll come to the back neckline, the back side, and place the 4.5 inches there from this center line. So this is 4.5. And I'll mark. This is 4.5. Then I'll bring the front. I'll bring the front side. I'll measure here up. So I'll place my tape like this. Place it like this. Following the curve. 
and measure it following the curve. So what I have here is 4.5 4 inches as well for the front, 4.5 inches. I'll set it aside and here, this is the front side, remember. So I'm going to, from the center, I'll measure the same 4.5. The back is 4.5 because we included the zipper allowance. If not, it won't get to 4.5. So this is 4.5 and I mark. So we have 4.5, 4.5. We've gotten the entire length of the collar. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come here. I'll come here and I'll take the height of the collar. For me, the height of the collar is going to be 1.5. Then I mark 1.5. That is the wideness of the collar. I'll connect like this. And to the center, I'll also measure 1.5 here. Then I'll connect the two lines like this. Straight. So this is for the back side. Coming to the front side, this is my 4.5. I'll come to that point and measure one inch upwards. One inch. Okay? So from that one inch, I'll now take my 1.5 inches for the wideness of the collar. 1.5 inches. So I'll now connect like this. I hope you understand at this point. So the next thing I'll do now is to connect from here to here. And you know the shape is going to be, be in a curve form. So I'm going to connect like this. Connect like this. You see it? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to connect again to this point. But before we do that, the line here, this line should not be straight. From this line, I'm going to measure half inch towards the front. Half inch towards the front, like this. Half inch, that is 0 0.5 inch. So from this 0 0.5 inch, I'll connect it back to this place. Like this, so that the line will not be straight. If it is straight, you will not get the color well. The shape will not come out well. So this is now what I have. Instead of that straight one. So the next thing I'm going to do, we are going to make sure that this line is 1.5 inches. Okay? It's a little bit more. So this is 1.5 inches here. So from here, we'll connect to the center. Okay? So I'm going to take it 1.5 inches, 1.5 inches, and 1.5 inches. So I will connect. So this is our color now. So this is the front and this is the back. So I'm going to cut it out now. The curved part is the front side. So this is what I'll use to cut the collar, this lace. I'll be adding this satin inside because this lace is transparent. So I will cut with the satin after I will use it to cut the lace. I will fold the material into two like this. I will cut it on fold. But later we are going to still open it because that collar has opening. It has opening at the front, center front. 
but first of all i'm going to cut it closed so that later i'll give it the shape of the curve that is there i'll cut with half inch sewing allowance Then this is my sewing allowance and I've cut it on fold. So I'm going to set this one aside and open it up. This is what we have. I'll use this one to cut out another one which will serve as the lining. So I'm just going to cut it like this. I'll cut it right side to right side, right side to right side. This is wrong side. I'm placing the right side on it. So I'll go over to the machine and join the two of them. I'll stitch the two of them together. Then after which, I'll attach my fusible interfacing on it. Let me go and sew it, fix the interfacing, the fusible interfacing, and I'll be right back. Divide the collar into two to get that shape, that opening at the front side. I'll fold it like this. And then the next thing will be to cut, to curve this side. To get that curve at the, at the front of the collar. I'll just curve it like this. So that it will look like this. So I will go to the machine, I will stitch like this and stitch like this. And then I will turn it over. Okay? So guys, this is the collar. So here is open and then here is close. This is where we are going to fix to the neck. Okay. So guys, the next thing I'll do now is to cut the sleeve. I'll cut the sleeve with the lace. For that style, what we have is a long sleeve basic long sleeve I'm going to fold it into two quickly the length of the sleeve for me is 21 inches I will not fold this part so here I will not add any sewing allowance here but this part I'll add only half inch for sewing allowance for up here the, the sleeve length is 21 plus half, 21.5. So at this line, I'm going to measure, on this line, I'll measure my armhole depth, 8 inches. Then I'm going to add 1 inch for sewing, making it 9 inches. The next thing is to come down by 4 inches. If you have not watched how to cut a basic sleeve a basic sleeve pattern the video is there in the channel please go ahead and watch it this is the sewing allowance then from here I'm going to connect with a curve I'll make an S shape a curve like an S shape like this 
So the next thing is to add my round sleeve here at the upper arm. My round sleeve here is 13 inches. So 13 divided by 2 will give me 6.5. Then I mark. From here, I'll add 1 inch sewing allowance. So I'll connect it like this. So from there, I'm going to measure from this upper sleeve here, I'll measure 13 inches. The 13 inches is here. This point here. And there I have the round sleeve there is 11 inches. 11 divided by 2, 5.5 plus 1 inch sewing allowance. I'll still connect it like this and then here at the tip here my round sleeve is 8 8 divided by 2 is 4 plus 1 inch for sewing I'm going to connect like this so I'll cut it out now and use this one to cut the second sleeve so guys I'm done padding the front side as you can see then I've sewn the back side as well with yoke So the next thing we are going to do now is to cut the yoke for the front side and after cutting it I'll use it to cut out the lace. So to cut the yoke for the front side I'll fold it like this into two equal parts and I'm going to cut out the shape of the yoke according to the style for the yoke I'm going to measure 13 inches that is my under bust after getting the deepness of the neck the yoke from here at the edge of the shoulder here I measure 6 inches here 4.5 and then here 6 so this is just for me to get the round kind of round shape So I'm going to use this to cut the lace. I'll cut with a half inch sewing allowance. So this is the yoke now. At this point, if you want, you sew your own like this. But me, for me, I'm going to line it up because I, I wouldn't want that place to be transparent. So I'm going to line it up with satin, don't face satin. So yeah, the next thing is to go over, to, I'll go over to the machine and, you know, stitch the two of the lace and the lining together. So 
so guys i'm done stitching or joining the two of them it's time to fix it it's time to fix the yoke i've gone ahead to stitch this side because i didn't gum the pad to this fabric so we're going to fix it now it should look like this after fixing it so i'm going to, i'm going to pin it i'm going to pin it the way the way i will sew it okay so i'm going to pin it like this so this is how i pin this side And then to pin this other side, I'll just turn this one like this. I'll turn it like this. So I'm going to pin. sides and this is what we have so if you pin it like this it will be more easy for you to sew so I'll, I'll just go to the machine and then this is how I will sew it I'm going to sew like this like this like this and then turn it around and then sew like this to the end all right so that after sewing it we we'll have something looking like this i'm going to sew it now on the machine just like i explained to you and i'll be back so guys, I'm done fixing the yoke and then this is how it looks. So the next thing I'll do is to fix the lining like this. So I'm going to put this one like this and I'll, I'm going to sew the lining. So if you want, you can pin the lining as well to sew. Okay. When you pin, it becomes more, more easy. So you can pin and then pin it round. All right. I'll go over to the machine and then I'll sew the lining. I'll sew the lining and I'll be right back. color so at the back because this gown is short there's no slit at the back so I don't know if you want 
can put slits for your own but because it's short i don't want to put slits there in case you don't know how to fix your basic sleeve i have a video on that you may want to check it out and watch okay so guys the next thing i'm going to do now is to fix the two attachments at the sides that's what we are going to do now and i'll start by taking the measurement of the length the length of the side peplum so i'll take the length from the half length i'll measure from the half length down i have 22.5 so this is the length, then here, this is where I'm going to fix the peplum, I'll fix it here, so I'll take the length, the length of where I'll attach the peplum, so for me, I'm going to fix it at 7 inches, 7 inches here, I'll fix it here, from here to here and others will drop you are going to see how i'll do it this is out seven inches i'll be adding one inch i'll be adding one inch during the cutting to make it eight because here i would like to do a single print at this point that's the essence of adding extra one inch all right so the fixing will be like this i'm going to measure three inches like this from here to here three inches and mark I'm going to curve it so this is how I'll fix it I'll fix it like this and stop here so let's go ahead and cut let's cut the peplum and so it as well so guys to cut the two sides peplum i've placed my material on fold i just folded it into two and what i have here is 25 inches 25 inches so i'm going to fold it again into four so what you are cutting is a uh, the 360 degrees peplum so i'm going to put it in a triangle shape like this so this is the length of the fabric you know it's by 45 it's by 45 in length because this is an african print it doesn't have length so this is the length i have here at this side i have exactly 22.5 here so make use of this length for this side but here this side i'm going to increase the length here i'm going to make it 25 25 inches so i'm going to take the 25 inches all round 25 So this is what I have and I'll cut. This side that is short is going to be the sides, the sides, the side of the peplum. So I'm going to open it up like this. So I'm going to do my marking now based on here. You know, I say that the length where I'm going to attach the peplum is going to be 7 inches plus 1 inch because I'll be doing a single print here. It's optional. If you want to do a print here, if you don't want to, just do as you want. So I'm going to make a single print here. So everything I'm going to mark here is going to be 8 inches so that it will rhyme up with this marking. So this is what I'll do. I'm going to measure 2.5 inches here remember this is the side that is closed and this is the side that is open 
this side will be the side the side of the peplum and then this will be the center so I marked 2.5 inches here so when I remove 2.5 inches so let's check for the length we now have 22.5 which is the actual length of the peplum you see the reason why I increase it to 25 inches when, when we are cutting it out here I have 2.5 inches and here which is the side I'm going to measure I'm going to first of all measure 3 inches 3 inches 3 inches and then I'll draw a straight line I want to get a kind of V V shape here so I'll make a straight line so this is what I have so from here I'm going to place my tape like this from here and I'll measure until I get my 8 inches so I'm going to measure like this and like this so this is my 8 inches here and I'll mark I'll mark it so it means I'm going to cut till that point so here I will try and blend it so that it will not have sharp sharp edge here I'll blend it to get a kind of curvy shape here and then here will be straight so let me cut it and then show you what the shape looks like so this is how it looks like like a sweetheart neckline so the reason why I made this V shape is that when I draw it, when I fix it, because this place is going to be the center. This place now will be here. Will be here. That's the center. And then this this place, this side or this side, this place will be here, which is the side. If you understand what I mean. I hope you understand what I mean. So when I place this at this center, it's going to give it a standing effect so that the peplum will fall fall very well so guys I will now use this one to cut the second peplum so guys to cut the lining this is the lining I will use I will just fold my mat the lining into two to sew like this all round and then I'll top stitch after sewing it and turn it to the right side from here so let me do that and I'll be right back all right so guys our gown is ready and is looking so beautiful so look at how the inside is this is how the inside is after stitching it. So, I have something like this. After stitching it, this is how it looks. So, I stitch from here to here to here. And then this place will be left like that. As you can see, there is a single print here. Single print here. And also, there is a single print here as well. 
I hope you can see it. So this is how the gown is looking like now. So this is how the folding is. So we are through with the sewing. And please make sure to like this video. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. All right. Like it so that others will see it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. For now, it is bye-bye.